Did you know that BMU has professors who gained their teaching experience in US? Now you will know. Good afternoon. Welcome to our British Management University channel. My name is Shalzoda and I'm a fourth year student. Today we will have a guest lecture with the Dean of General Education and Vice Rector of Technology, as well as the Professor of Computer Science, Timur Umarov. Greetings, Mr. Timur. Good afternoon, Shalzoda. Uh, how are you doing today? Uh, great, thank you. I'm doing very well. Uh, my first question is, uh, can you tell, please, uh, more information about yourself? Thank you very much for inviting me and providing this opportunity to share. Uh, my name is Timur Marov. I'm a professor of computer science, and um, I used to be a dean of foundation program at BMU. Now I'm a vice, a vice rector for technology, and I'm responsible for IT initiatives at this university. How did it feel like uh, teaching at Northern Arizona University, being an undergraduate student? I started teaching in the second year of uh, my undergraduate uh, years at Northern Arizona University because it was challenging. Uh, and uh, the first year I uh, dedicated myself to uh, get used to American reality. Uh, because it was not easy to master the courses, the co the, everything was in English and it was my first experience to get outside of Uzbekistan at that time. And uh, I decided to make an extra box for myself and we were uh, four of us from Uzbekistan and we decided to go explore our options in terms of employ employment. So uh, my <clears throat> options was to teach. <clears throat> and I was hired at the t uh, Learning Assistance Center at this university uh, to tutor students who were not uh, feeling comfortable and who were not feeling confident in their performance. In courses like um, algebra, calculus, uh, physics, even chemistry and uh, electrical engineering. It was uh, not easy because you have to explain in simple terms uh, the things that are uh, can be at times advanced to yourself as well. Uh, but it gave me lots of experience over time. So I worked there for uh, one and a half years and it gave me lots of experience. And now I'm using this experience again and again in different universities, including British Management University. As we know, you received an accreditation from ABIT, Accreditation Board of Engineering and Technology for your IT programs. How has uh, this award uh, contributed to your further performance uh, in the field of computer science? ABIT is an agency that accredits engineering and technical programs. ABIT is located uh, in Baltimore, uh, Maryland State, in the US. Uh, it's a, a very prestigious agency. Uh, that's expanding right now. Uh, lots of universities are seeking or trying to seek their accreditation for their programs. Our first encounter with EBIT was in 2009 when uh, I was working as a dean uh, of IT faculty at Kazakh British Technical University and we had this challenge to accredit our IT programs with, uh, within EBIT agency. So this was a very challenging task for us because um, it didn't come out uh, the way we wanted, but um, the result actually uh, gave us more opportunity to learn. So within three years, we fixed many problems that we had within our programs. And we, after that, in 2016, we received a reaccreditation uh, of EBIT, this time without any shortcomings. And in 2022, uh, Kazakh British Technical University received another accreditation mm -hmm. for another six years. So EBIT gives accreditation for six year term. The reason why um, universities uh, seek this accreditation, EBIT accreditation, as opposed to other accreditation agencies like ASEAN, for example, Aquin, uh, the Germany based uh, agencies, is that EBIT <clears throat> uh, is a more worldwide known agency. Uh, and we had, we had already cases when graduates from EBIT accredited programs uh, received scholarships in the United States or 
they were admi admitted to master's program without the need to take the GMAT uh, exam or GRE exam. And in terms of employment, uh, for example, in the United States or in Europe, employers prefer um, uh, the graduates of Abbott accredited programs. So uh, that's the reason why universities seek this accreditation to make their programs more attractive to the students and to the future students. And our plans as well include this um, uh, activity. We want, to, uh, we want our IT programs that we are about to launch uh, to get accredited at Abbott Agency so that our students will get um, more opportunities to, uh, in terms of their employment in terms of their continuing their education in master's programs, uh, to get this education in the best universities in the world, or to get uh, highly paid jobs. So this is our uh, goal, and also our goal is to make our students and graduates happy. Uh, as we know, this year BME launching new bachelor's program for IT. Uh, one of them, as we know, cybersecurity. Second one is uh, artificial intelligence. Can you give, please, more information about this course structure? Yes, uh, you're right. Uh, we are launching new programs. That, the program is called Management Information Systems. Uh, within this program, we have uh, three tracks. These are called um, cybersecurity, artificial intelligence, and uh, financial technology in short, FinTech. Uh, the reason why we decided to launch these very tracks, specializations within MIS, is that we felt that um, these tracks are sought for uh, in, in the market, even in Uzbekistan, in the Central Asian region. And we have a shortage of specialists in these areas. Also, the reason why we offering these programs is that uh, we don't want these programs to be highly technical at first years. And uh, because we have students uh, who applied actually for programs like finance, accounting, and we want to feel them confident uh, in their academic stints while they are doing their uh, undergraduate studies. So it, wouldn't, it won't be very difficult for them to go through these programs. And that's why we made it uh, simpler and uh, mixed with uh, finance and banking and logistic courses, management courses. And in fact, these programs contain the courses from other programs as well, like programs from finance, uh, project management, logistics. Uh, the only thing is that we have uh, some of the courses are technical. It's a, it's a mix of technical and non-technical modules. What career can future graduates pursue after finishing uh, this uh, bachelor's in IT field? The graduates from IT programs will most likely be employees of uh, various banks, uh, maybe back office uh, development teams, or maybe front office if they uh, master web programming as well, uh, to the fullest and whatnot. Will you be teaching at the course as well? Yes, I'm planning to teach. And I, I already teach here uh, at British Management University courses like uh, advanced uh, uh, data analytics using Excel. I teach uh, um, uh, Power BI course data visualization with Power BI. And I also teach uh, business information systems course, which is required for everyone. Uh, and I also teach introduction to Python. So some of these courses will migrate to the new IT uh, programs, which uh, I will teach some of them. And apart from my admin administration duties, uh, I think, and I'm sure I'll have time, I will, I will find time to teach one or more, one or two courses per year for, for these programs. Why students should choose BMU for uh, bachelors in IT? The programs are based on international standards. 
being an EBIT expert, I know how the standards are com uh, composed and what requirements are uh, prescribed and recommended for the universities mm -hmm. uh, to follow. In relation to your question about EBIT, uh, EBIT doesn't prescribe the modules, but it prescribes the topics and it prescribes the skills that the future graduate should possess. So based on that, uh, having this information at hand, we uh, develop our programs that will bring our students to the state where they will be um, fully employable, not only in Uzbekistan, but worldwide. Thank you, Mr. Timur, for this informative interview. I hope it was useful for our viewers. And don't forget to subscribe our BMU YouTube channel. See you next time.